So here we are, hello St Michael's, and uh, here we are at Rose Cottage. Uh, and uh, you, uh, if you are a, f a family uh, with younger children, you might want to consider coming here on Sunday for our Sunday celebration. This is going to be our family friendly zone. And uh, if you've been to Rose Cottage before, you'll be familiar with the, the space. But if you're new to Rose Cottage, then just wanted to give you a little video uh, tour of what to expect. Uh, if you have been before, um, before lockdown, then things might be a bit different again. So uh, here we are uh, on the high street, um, the zebra crossing there. Do ca take care when you're crossing the road with the kids. Um, there is parking on the streets, but please be sensitive to the neighbours. Um, and uh, this is your way in. We have a one-way system. So we come in through this uh, side gate here and we come down the side uh, into Rose Cottage. And uh, you will be greeted by a really friendly face, I hope. And uh, they'll be sat here at this table and we're doing track and trace so we'll be taking uh, just names if you're a member of the church you don't need to give your details because you should al already be on church suite but if you're uh, not on church suite we will need to take an email address or a telephone number and just um, just make sure that we have some way of being able to get in touch uh, if we discover that uh, someone uh, test positive uh, for COVID. So um, this is hopefully going to be a more relaxed space if you've got children. Uh, children will have a little bit more freedom here. Uh, we've got this lovely play area um, and uh, Nathan's done a great job of making sure uh, that we've uh, we've got seating spaced out. Of course the weather's going to be great um, and, uh, and if it's not we'll have to uh, just review and be a little bit more careful inside uh, with the, where people are standing uh, but obviously having this outdoor space just creates a lot more flexibility and so uh, in through these doors uh, this is the kind of uh, midway area so um, so we'll have these doors open and uh, and there's this television screen where the service will be played uh, through a laptop using zoom uh, from streamed from the church uh, building and uh, you should be able to interact there'll be a video on the laptop that you can if you want to uh, share something or um, ask a question or get involved in prayer times and things like that uh, then that you'll have the ability to interact with those in the other bu buildings and the other venues um, but but this space is the space for those who want to really uh, really pay attention and focus in on the service but of course uh, there is uh, freedom for people to stand outside and listen and um, keep an eye on kids and uh, there'll be people on the team uh, every Sunday who are uh, really thinking carefully about how we engage with the children how we help them in their discipleship and uh, so uh, in through these doors we have uh, the rest of the uh, indoor space we've got uh, two rooms on the rooms there's a, a num a little post that says how many people can be in the rooms uh, there's another room in there and, uh, through here we've got more seating uh, obviously you're going to struggle to um you're going to struggle to be able to hear the service if you're in those rooms but if you wanted space to just um get together uh, with someone and pray perhaps or just have a conversation in a quieter space that's the opportunity there uh, we are uh, asking that you bring your own refreshments so your own coffee and water bottles cold drinks etc um, and uh, the kitchen is 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 not for use uh, but the toilet is and so we have a toilet here and uh, you'll obviously have to take it in turns to use that toilet and just uh, make sure that no one's blocking the space uh, so that uh, people can queue with social distancing and uh, if if you've used the toilet we ask that you do clean afterwards uh, both before and afterwards so we are so excited to be uh, having this opportunity to gather again and uh, I really hope that you feel that this can be 
positive experience of coming back together and seeing people in the flesh again and worshipping physically together but at the same time feeling confident that uh, this is a safe space and uh, we uh, we pray that God will meet with you uh, and that you will feel encouraged and built up. One other thing is about communion. We are really hoping that we'll be able to celebrate communion together. Remember that meal that we used to uh, have as part of our service on Sunday uh, before lockdown with wine and bread? And Although we are in separate buildings, uh, my plan is to uh, bless the, the wafers before the service um, so that they can be distributed out to the different buildings uh, before the service begins. And so that when it comes to the time where we distribute the bread, um, you, you will then be able to take uh, wafers in your venue. Now, uh, because of the 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 risk of infection, we aren't sharing a cup, um, so there won't be wine, but there'll just be wafers. Um, but uh, you'll be encouraged to stay in your family groups, um, maybe sit together or just kneel on the floor or stand together, and then someone will come round and, and bring uh, some wafers for each household uh, to take at the time of the service. So that's the plan for communion. And uh, I hope that that'll be a really special time of, of sharing uh, in that uh, remem remembrance meal together where we remember Jesus uh, and his death on the cross for us, giving his body for us.